Welcome to Connected Franchise. I'm Larry Ridley. Start your season with your favorite team and players. Complete goals, earn XP, level up your players, and take them to the Super Bowl. Let's get started. Select the team you want to join. Don't worry, you'll be able to choose the role you plan in just a second. Hey guys, what is going on? It is YCSSWK here, bringing you guys a video here today. Uh, new series, I'm sorry, the last time I did this, um, it got corrupted, um, which is extremely depressing, but um, it did indeed get corrupted, um, and I couldn't do anything about it, so I was not able to continue the 49ers one. I was trying to think, well, do I want to redo that one after going 0-5 to start the year, because all Madden is ridiculously hard, and that is a team that is seriously struggling, or am I going to change it up, go to a different team? You know, who never done a fantasy draft. Um, I've never really done a connected franchise on um, YouTube anyway, but I've never done a draft. So, you know, that's a new thing for both of us. That's what we're going to be doing today, and I really hope that you guys will enjoy it. You guys are going to see the whole draft and everything, so I hope you guys really do enjoy it. Let's go through the settings. So salary cap is obviously on, or else it doesn't make it realistic. We're going to try all Madden. If it gets ridiculously hard, we will put it back down to all pro. Now as we're going through here, everything seems to be uh, right as far as I know. Um, we'll turn these on because it makes it harder for us and the other team. Um, and I think that's all we need, guys. So we will uh, accept this, and I will talk to you guys in a moment. As you load into your first game, notice the goals. Progress towards these goals will show up on the bottom ticker and near your player post play. Additionally, drive goals offered at the beginning of drives offer bonus experience opportunities. Your season starts now. So, there is no roster to show you. There is no depth chart. There is no anything. It is time for the fantasy draft. All new, brand new team. Browns are not the Browns anymore. Uh, we do indeed have the 10th pick, which is actually pretty nice. I'm going to pause it so I can take my time, you know. I want to be able to um, see things. So, uh, we got Aaron, Andrew Luck, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Cam Newton, Ben Roethlisberger, Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, Vontae Davis, and Earl Thomas. Um, all very nice selections. Um, who I'm going to get, I have no idea. There are some very good players out here like uh, Luke Keekley, but I, I don't feel like that's what I want right now. Um, I feel like I need to go quarterback position. Who am I going to go with? I understand it's really early to get a quarterback, especially a quarterback that's not fantastic. Um, and don't get me wrong, this man is fantastic. He's just not what everybody thinks of. Oh, if you're going to get a quarterback, you better be getting like Russell Wilson, Andrew Luck, whatever it may be. But no, um, I am definitely going to be going with the quarterback position. I will be getting Marcus Mariota just because I feel like he's going to be gone by the time I am ready to pick a quarterback again. And I, I, I don't want that to happen. So Marcus Mariota, I don't feel like I want Jameis Winston. I do feel like I want Marcus. Marcus Mariota, welcome to the Browns. Now as the Sims, it will be our next selection, 23rd. Uh, let's see where uh, Jameis went because depending on where Jameis meant um, it might have been a stupid pick for us and I think it actually was wow it was a stupid pick for us we were really dumb there so I apologize guys we were being stupid I thought that you know he's a rookie quarterback he is going to go very quickly but he did not so I apologize for that he is still up there assuming Mariota would be as well we're not going to go running back right now we are going to focus on the defense a little bit I feel like defense is very important um, Jimmy Smith is a very nice player. So is Patrick Peterson. Um, I'm not sure which of these two I want. Let's just compare a little bit of stats, all right? So we got the speed is okay. Acceleration is pretty nice. The man in zone is very nice. The play recognition isn't as nice as I would like it to be. The press is very fantastic. Now, we're going to go to Patrick Peterson. Now, the speed is obviously there. The acceleration is obviously there. Man coverage is great. The play rec is not great either. But the zone coverage is okay. The press is great as well. You know, I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to go for as I'm going to switch batteries really quick, guys. So, apologize my absence. Uh, go ahead and look at the stats really quick of these players. Actually, I'll back out and I'll let you guys see the stats of players. One second. Let's 
temper but the bills still keep on coming staying on the grind january to december trying to lace these beats on a shoestring budget french juice so still alive i did indeed uh make it back uh so we will continue going through this i'm not sure who i want to get at this very moment i have an idea uh, I think I'm going to go with Jimmy Smith, but I want to look at the safeties just to be sure, you know. I don't want to make the wrong selection. So, Bam Bam Cam is a man you can never go wrong with. I think, you know, what do I want? Do I want that? Uh, I think I got to go Patrick Peterson in this situation. I feel like he's the best player to go with. So, that is who I'm going to go with. Actually, let me check one more thing. Uh, 25 years old, 27. So, he's even younger also. So, Patrick Peterson, welcome to the team. Browns are now on the clock. So Jameis just got picked. Uh, we probably could have gotten Marcus a little bit later then, which is a bummer. But you know, I was just, I was expecting the worst, so I wanted to be safe. Um, we could get a running back here, but I still want to focus on the on the defensive side of the ball um, because I feel like defense is very important. Uh, Cam Chancellor is still up there, and so is Deshaun Gibson. Now, who am I going to go with? Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Cam Chancellor's speed, to be honest. I think. Um, Deshaun Gibson is a more balanced player, even though he doesn't have the speed. 94 zone coverage is very nice. Um, anything else that is fantastic for him? Nothing sp spectacular, but I think he's just a better overall player. But you know what? We're going to check out Bam Bam just to make sure. Um, yeah, it's just a 97 hit power. That's what we call him Bam Bam. Uh, he is faster. He is more athletic. Uh, he's definitely not younger, but he does indeed uh, play very well. Um... You know what? I'm actually... No. I, I gotta be smart on this. Where do I go? Rashad Jones, man. I don't know. And these are all really hard selections. But I feel like if I want to make the smartest pick, I gotta go with Deshaun Gibson just for the cover's sake. The Browns are now and who know? Dude, drafts are weird. He might still be there. You, ne you have never know. So... We will uh, we'll check right here. Um, is he still there? I'm assuming no. He is still there. So we can get Bam Bam Cam, or we can wait a little bit, maybe get Will Hill or something like that. I think the running backs are starting to go, and I do not want to miss out on an amazing running back. So I think um, with the age and everything else, I think Eddie Lacy is our man. I understand he is not the fastest guy, but, I mean, you just look at the stats, and you tell me that you aren't going to get him. So... Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to go Eddie Lacy with this pick. The Browns are now on the clock. So now as I make my next selection, we're going to be looking at the positions that we may need. Um, you know, wide receiver is always an important position, but I think we can wait a little while longer. Um, Rashad Jones is up and Georgie Loka. Now you see the overall difference. Um, I think it's finally time, unless we just want to go total coverage. You know, we could go Georgie Loca. We could get this just total coverage team. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm glad I looked at him. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to go for the coverage standpoint. He also is 6'4", so that really does help. Um, so we're going to have two fantastic coverage guys, and I think that's really going to help us as a unit. Um, I think that having those two guys is really going to help our secondary. Now I think it's time to kind of come up a little bit on the positions and see about some linebackers you know so Brandon Marshall would be a fantastic pick so would Brandon Spikes uh, I just want to make sure that's the right pick you know it's always a good idea to make sure that you are making the right selection um, we'll continue going through here uh, the Tampa 2 defense is very strange, but let's look at these, all right? So we got a, uh, a fantastic player in Marshall who is only 25 years old. So, you know, that's not bad. He has very nice zone coverage as well. Um, that really does indeed help. Brandon Spikes definitely does not. Uh, neither does Rolando McLean. I mean, he has decent, but nothing compared. Uh, Carlos Dansby is a player for the Browns, and he is fantastic. He's just, he's getting older, so I don't feel like that's the best way to go. I feel like Brandon Marshall is the best way to go, so we will be drafting him. The Browns are now on the clock. We are up again. We have not drafted any offensive linemen um, or wide receivers, so that's kind of confusing me. I'm only going to go 50. Do I want to go 15 rounds or do I want to go more than that? You know what? I'll decide. I'll decide. You know, I think I've made enough selections and I think I'm set. Um, Amari Cooper would be a very nice guy to have. I think that actually might be who I go with, but I don't know yet. 
I, I don't know what I want. So I'm just going to look at uh, players just to make sure. Um, I could go lineman. I could go Joel Petonio. I could go Marquise Pouncey. I could go Zach Martin or Marshall Yonda. You just, you got to look and see what you want. That's the problem. So I think we are going to go with an offensive lineman. I am going to be a little biased here and go with Joel Petonio. I feel like he is a fantastic player and he has great block and run blocking and um, pass blocking. So I feel like that is the best selection for our team. We're going to keep going with the offensive line setting and we're going to pick him another player. I'm not sure who it's going to be exactly yet. Will Beatty is a very nice player to have. Um, he might actually be the player I go with just because he is so great. Uh, we do have a left guard now. We could get somebody like Travis Frederick, who has fantastic run blocking for Eddie Lacy. Um, we could get somebody like Zach Martin, or we could go like Elaine Johnson. I think we're going to go Travis Frederick, though. I feel like Travis Frederick is our main guy. So we have a phenomenal running team, and I feel like we're going to do a lot of that considering we have such a young quarterback, but you never know. So... Uh, we'll keep drafting and see what happens. Now, Zach Martin is still available. So is Marshall Yonda. Now, um, you look uh, at Zach Martin. You know, the zone run is all right. You know, the run blocking is pretty nice, and so is the pass blocking. You go to Marshall Yonda. He has 99 run block, 90 pass block. I think he's just the better pick, even though he's older. That's what kind of concerns me. So, actually, I lied. I am going to go with Zach Martin just because he is younger and will develop. Um, we are, uh, what pick are we in now? The, what pick number is this for us? Uh, what, like 11 or something? I don't know. Um, so we're going to keep going through here. Um, I'm not sure. I already have a quarterback. I already have a running back. Is a wide receiver something we need to go after now? Um, I feel like Kevin White would be a very nice player for our team just because he is going to get a lot better. Um, being that he is a rookie, and I feel like that's who we're going to go with because I feel like he's just going to be great for us. And I feel like that's the way we got to go. So 85 release, 94 speed is fantastic. Uh, the route running needs some work, but I think we can deal with that. So we're definitely going to go Kevin White with this pick, go a, um, a younger route, and make sure that we get the young players that we need to focus around this team. Um, we might want to check into a right tackle or left tackle position. You never know. Um, they are very important players. Uh, Donald Penn is getting older. He sure is. Uh, Jake Long is getting there also. So is Kali. So Eric Flowers is very young, and he is a decent overall. So I feel like he's going to develop as well. So I feel like Eric Flowers is our pick in this situation. So we're going to have a very nice offensive line. Our defensive line is going to struggle, but our offensive line will definitely get the job done now we're going to continue we're going to look at the right tackles just to make sure there isn't something specific i want to get right now sebastian vomer is older uh derek newton is about is 27 um we could go him you know or we could just we could go with the 27 year old who's just going to focus on run blocking i think that actually might be what we do let me just make sure um he's just so slow andre smith i'm not sure he'll be able to get out in time um, with 70 speed and Derek Newton, you can't really go wrong. So, Derek Newton, welcome to the Cleveland Browns. The Browns are now on the clock. Now, as we make a selection, um, the offense is looking very nice. Uh, left tackle is going to struggle a little bit, but left guard, center, and it, it, we're going to have a very nice team. So, I'm very happy with what we have so far. Now, we go to the wide receiver position. Look at that defense. You know, the defense is all right, but I feel like we need to get more corners. So we're going to go to the cornerback position and pick up another man to guard um, the uh, wide receivers. So uh, Parrish Cox or Jermaine Brock is kind of what I'm looking at right now. I'm not sure exactly what I want. Um, not fantastic. Um, not fantastic either. Um, Keenan Lewis is getting too old. Calvin Johnson, no, 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 no. Okay, so it's kind of between. You know, we could go with him, but I feel like he's not what we need. I feel like we need somebody who's better. Um, even though he does indeed have 92 press, he does have 84, and he has 71. So actually, you know what? We're going to take um, 
a guess on here. We're going to go with Darquise Denard. Hopefully him and Patrick Peterson being more speed-ish corners can keep up with the wide receivers in our division and on our schedule. The Browns are now on the clock. So we're going to keep looking. Uh, we do have two corners. Um, what else do we need? Um, right outside linebacker. So we need to focus more on defense again. So we're going to go to the defense and see kind of what we need. Uh, Shaq Thompson. Shaq Thompson is a very fantastic player. He was kind of a hybrid. He played many different positions at the University of Washington. I did watch him play at the University of Washington, and he was crazy. I I thought he was a fantastic player. Jeff, if you're watching this series, which I hope you are, you will like that pick very much um, because we did indeed watch him, and we did indeed, and or we did indeed um, like what he was showing on the field. Now. We're going to go to the right outside linebacker position. Akeem Ayers is a very fantastic player. Um, he does not have fantastic zone coverage. Um, a lot of these guys do not, actually, which is a bummer because we need somebody with decent zone coverage to play on our team and be in the right uh, position to play. Uh, Malcolm Smith is a very low overall for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why that is, considering he is a very nice player. Um, and he's just, he has terrible stats in this. So um, we won't be going with him. Vincent Ray, uh, 78 zone. That's not awful. Uh, Lance Briggs has terrible zone. Uh, this guy does not have great zone. This guy has pretty nice zone. Um, the zone is okay on him. I think we're actually going to go with Vincent Ray, the right outside linebacker out of Duke. So we have our linebacking core now, which is very nice. Uh, it's nice having great linebackers on your team. It makes your job a lot easier. Now we're going to go kind of to a different position that we have not drafted yet. We're going to go to a tight end position. Now I'm not sure who I want to get. Zach Miller is a very nice player, but I think, if I'm correct, he's he's kind of older. I mean, he's not extremely, but he is kind of older, and his blocking stats are terrible. Um, so are Scott Chandler's. So are Jermichael Finley's. It's James Casey's. So are his. Ladar Ladarius Green, I think. Yeah, Ladarius Green, so are his. We're kind of just looking for a more blocking tight end, and then we'll have a, more of a receiving tight end. Tolo, T T -Lo I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, he might be a player we might go with just because he has such nice stats. Ben Harstock, look at that run block. He could seal the edge for us, even though he is very old. He could just seal the edge, be that player we might need. Um, Heath Miller is a much older gent. Um, Fred Davis is getting there also. Um, I think we're going to go with the 6'8 monster, Tolio, T. Tolio, Tololo? Tololo, maybe. Tololo. I, I don't know, guys. I'm just guessing here. So, we are making our 17th selection. Uh, I think we need to kind of look at the wide receiver position again just to make sure. Doriel Green Beckham. He is a fantastic wide receiver. I am really surprised he is still up here just because of how fantastic he is. We will be getting him. Um, now, uh, we need to focus on our defensive line because our defensive line is going to struggle right now because we do not have a good defensive line at all. I don't think we've even made a selection on the defensive line. So definitely need to look for some impact players. Now, Michael Johnson is a very nice player, even though he does not have very nice stats. Uh, Malcolm Brown is a rookie um, out of Texas. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly at the moment where he got drafted, but um, I know he's going to be a very nice player for them, and I hope he does well in the team he's at. I, I know I can't remember what team he does indeed play for. Um, I might go with the man, Michael Johnson. I think that's actually where I'm going to go. Yes, Michael Johnson, welcome to the team. Now, um, if he is indeed still up there, we will get uh, Malcolm Brown because he is young. He will develop on this defense and work with our staff to get better. So we will indeed draft Mal Malcolm Brown um, as he is still a selection on the board. I understand we're 20 minutes in. I don't expect you guys to watch the whole draft, but if you guys are still here, I really, really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me, and I appreciate you guys being here. We might get Todd Gurley. Just because he's kind of um, he's kind of a secondary running back to have. You know what I mean? He's kind of that secondary guy that can come in when Eddie Lacy is tired and do a great job playing. And I think that actually is what we're going to do. He looks like he's going to be a great running back later on. 
And so we will get Todd Gurley. Now, that's going to be a fantastic one-two punch for our team. Now, we're going to go back to the defensive line position. Um, let's find out uh, what's at left end and defensive tackle. We already got a defensive tackle, so maybe we should look at the left end position. We do need two defensive tackles because that is the type of defense that they run. So, C.J. Mosley, not the good one. Luis Nix, I really like Luis Nix. Um, I feel like he's a great player. Michael Bennett is also a new draftee um, out of this draft. Um, he's more of a finesse guy for a defensive tackle position, which isn't exactly good. That's not exactly what you want. If he was an outside guy, then I'd be okay with it. But um, I think Luis Nix is the man that we're going to go with just to clog up the middle with our um, other guy. Who is it? I, sorry, guys. I just can't remember his name all of a sudden. Who is our other man that we have? Um, Malcolm Brown. So him and Malcolm Brown will hopefully be very nice pickups for this team. Now, we're going to go to kind of those weird positions that you're like, Harrison, what kind of player are you drafting here? Uh, we're going to we're gonna go down a while. We sure are um, on this wide receiver thing, and you guys are probably wondering who I'm going for. Um, if he's still up here, I'd love to have him. Cordell Patterson does not have very good stats in this game for how great of a wide receiver he really is. Um, Austin Pettis, my, my stepmother actually knows Austin Pettis, which is weird. Um, but yeah, she did teach him in um, middle school. So shout out to you, Austin Pettis. Uh, Taylor Gabriel, man, I cannot find DeAnthony Thomas. I did not know that he is a wide receiver. I could have sworn he was a running back. Maybe he just switched. Uh, I'm going to guess that. I'm going to guess he just switched positions and he's trying something new. Uh, Ricardo Lockett is not the guy we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for Lockett with no E. Um, so his name is no E. Is that what his nickname is on the uh, Seahawks right now? And Tyler Lockett, that is the guy right there that we are looking for. Uh, he doesn't have fantastic stats. Don't get me wrong. He's not going to be our star player, but he will be a fantastic player to have on the team. Uh, and I'm really glad we have him. Now we're going to go kind of that weird position because we are getting a little later in this draft. So we're going to go with that position that nobody really talks about, the kicker position, how important that is. So um, I think we are going to go with Matt Prater. I think he is the best option for us. So we will be picking up Matt Prater right here. Let me just make sure that's what I want, though. I don't want to get the wrong player, you know. Uh, Blair Walsh is very nice. Do I go with Greg the Legs Erline? That's actually who I'm going to go with. Greg the Legs Erline is a fantastic kicker. Um, that's why his name is Greg the Leg. He has an incredible leg. He's able to kick the ball so far. Um, so definitely glad we're having him. Now we're going to go to the punting position. Um, try to hurry up so you guys don't have to sit here for 14 and a half years. We are going to go with maybe maybe Tressway because he is so young. I think, yeah, I think Tressway is the way we're going to go. So Tressway, welcome to the team. 97 kick power. Really do like that. And we will be making our final selection here. Um, who I'm going to make make that final selection i do not know but i'm going to be making a final selection so who should i go with you know should i get a, a decent wide receiver like andrew hawkins who has the speed inside should i go nelson aguilar i just i don't know what to get right now but i feel like nelson aguilar would be a fantastic player to have on the team in the slot and that is who i'm going to go with so six one uh wide receiver out of um usc I did make 25 selections, and that will be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just going to let the sim do its job. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you do indeed punch and smash and do whatever you can to that like button. And do indeed smash that like button uh, if you guys did enjoy. And, yeah, I will see you guys um, with a depth chart update and a first game type of thing. So it'll be kind of like a depth chart thing. Going through the depth chart, it'll be a shorter episode, and then I will have the first game. So you two, I am checking out, and I will see you later. Deuces.